Hey everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge .blogspot.com. This is the face of somebody who is not a happy camper. I'm doing swatches and stuff for the month of January 2015 and right in here is quite possibly the worst product of the year. probably noticed that I'm barely wearing any makeup and there's a reason for that I tried the product that was new at the uh, drugstore it's in here I'm gonna talk about it first and this product literally literally ruined my skin probably for the next two months that's how bad the allergic reaction was it destroyed two layers of my skin on my face I'm red I'm itchy I'm scaling I'm peeling I got bumps everywhere I cannot wear anything on my skin as a result the product is this it's Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water now I purchased this because it was new at the store and I figured hey let me get this and I can make a review for my swatches and stuff I've tried the micellar water from Yves Rocher before and absolutely loved it this was a little bit cheaper you get a lot of product in the bottle I figured let me try this okay so let's start with the container I don't know why Garnier sells a product that is not sealed okay when you go to the store you check it out go to a drugstore and find out when you look at the bottle and you open them there is no seal it just literally can pour out in the store this is so not hygienic and I don't know why they're doing it this way I should have thought about that when I bought it but I just wanted to try it so let me give you my experience and then I'm gonna give you close-ups of my skin so you can understand and I'm talking this has been two weeks now that I'm not wearing anything so first when I started using this product yeah it removed all of my eye makeup including the um, waterproof mascara it left my skin really nice and clean kind of like what witch hazel would do all right so I was like okay that's pretty cool then two days later I literally look like this that's right my eyes were completely puffed up right here on the side on top of my eyelid I was all swollen and I'm talking like moving my eyelashes and touching them was actually sensitive and sore and it would hurt then it got all red and all of my eyes started to peel the skin okay so I didn't make the connection with this thing I thought that maybe one of my mascara because I use a lot of different brand I switched them like one day I used this one the other day I used that one I figured one of my mascara has got a bacteria in it so like an idiot I threw away every single one of my mascara including my high-end ones that were uber expensive all right thinking that it was the mascara goes on two three days later then I'm starting to have little bumps here and I'm still using the products because I didn't think it was that all right so a couple of days later my skin starts to get really leathery here and bumps everywhere next thing you know peeling layers of skin peeling off all right at that point I was smart enough to make the connection with this garbage product this thing literally burnt first degree burn my skin I can't use any product on my skin as a result my Avon product my Lancome product my foundation anything I put on my skin burns the bejesus out of my skin it's a horrible feeling I am never going out like this you know that I always have somewhat makeup when I go out I can't wear anything you guys it's that bad can't wear anything this is the worst product of the year it really is I'm going to send a letter to Garnier and I should have known better because I tried their products in the past and I didn't do very good with them in particular the shampoo because they have nickel in them and they would just like I have allergy to nickel this doesn't have nickel it's mostly water alcohol and glycerin and I can't even read it I don't care don't buy it it's garbage worst product of the year let me show you my skin you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about so here we are looking on my right cheek look at all the patches and the red bumps I have nothing on look at this I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see where my skin is uh, peeling here right here you see that I have those blotchy patches 
everywhere. Let's go on the other side. Same thing here. Little red bump patches right here. Do you see that? Everywhere. Look at how my skin looks right now. It's awful. Same thing on the chin. I got those little red bumps everywhere. The nose is all right. My um, forehead, same thing. Those little red bumps everywhere. My eyes are doing a little bit better. I have just a tiny bit of eyeshadow and a tiny bit of mascara. The ones that look like death. But I'm telling you, like this whole part right here was all swollen by at least one eighth of an inch. And then all of this here was all red and started to just dry and peel off. Awful. Awful. So, the bottom line is, again, this is by far the worst product of the year. Garnier Missile Cleansing Water. Stay away from this. I kid you not. Don't even think that, oh, well, maybe Sophia's got very sensitive skin. No, I don't, okay? I can pretty much put anything on my skin and I never get an allergic reaction. This is the first time anything like this happens to my skin. I'm so mad, so mad. So, what did I do to try to get some type of improvement in my skin? I'm using my Clarisonic every other day now to try to peel off those layers of that skin. And you saw how I had those patches of dry skin? I use my Clarisonic, what time is it? It's noon right now. I used it about an hour ago. And it's still not taking off all those layers. That's how deep the allergic reaction is. So I went to Fairway, which has a, um, it's like a supermarket here in our area. Um, I don't know if you have it anywhere other than the uh, metropolitan area for New York. But they have a counter for all organic products. You know, kind of like Whole Food Market has a, a section for cosmetics. So I talked to the lady and she recommend I use this. This is a calendula cream. This is basically a first aid cream for burns, scrapes, chaffing, and sunburn, all right? It's soothing, moisturizing, paraben three, and works uh, naturally with your body. I've been using it. It's just, it doesn't have much of a scent. It's a uh, uh, kind of a little bit of a thick cream, and I put it on, basically, I have nothing on my skin right now, so I can do that. I just put it on every single day when I get out the door, like this, on those areas that have been seriously affected by the allergic reaction, and it does soothe the burning and the itching sensation. But that's it, it doesn't really heal the skin. It just helps me go throughout the day without constantly touching and try to relieve my skin. Water helps too. Um, obviously I'm drinking more water as a result to try to hydrate my skin from the inside. Um, it's been two weeks now. I don't know how long it's going to take before my skin heals. Thanks Garnier, really, thank you. Anyway. Calendula cream. Um, this is the brand is Boron, right here. You see it. This is very good. If you have little kids and they have sunburn, this is a much better alternative to all of the um, you know other creams that you get there. All right. So the active ingredient in this thing is Calendula officinalis 1x HP US 10%. So the rest is like glycerin and all of the emollient that they have to put in. So I like it, it helps. Like right now I can already feel my skin is not as taut. All right, that's that. All right, next, um, so mad. <laughs> next product, um, I was using the Organics Coconut Oil Shampoo and the Nexus Conditioner, the Pro Man Nexus, the green bottle. I think I talked about it in either the November or the September. Um, swatches and stuff okay but for some reason because of my allergic reaction on my face you know when you shampoo and you put conditioner some of it goes onto your skin it was actually burning my face all right so I had to switch to a totally organic and botanical shampoo um, that's an easy fix for me I just go and get the Obre this is an American brand. I've always liked it. The only problem is that those are expensive. They're like $11, between $9 and $11 per bottle. So this is not burning my skin as I rinse off the shampoo or the conditioner. The J Shampoo is a keratin fix. This one right here. This is uh, keratin and Yangu oil. It fortifies and renew. And I like the scent actually. Yeah, it smells very botanical, um, you know, kind of have a, a little peppermint in it. So it's sulfur free, paraben free, gluten free, phthalate free, and cruelty free. And all of the ingredients, I'm not going to go through them, but if you want to uh, look at it and pause right now, you can see it. It's all botanical 
ingredients there's basically nothing chemical in this at all and I like it I really do it clarifies my hair and it doesn't itch at all like when I rinse afterwards I don't start itching everywhere because you know that product this garbage thing here the first two days that I used it I was going behind my ears and I was going on my neck and in the back of my neck like I would do with a toner where well, everything has been like totally damaged by the product so shampoo and conditioner would actually irritate those areas so I had to switch okay the conditioner is called the Island Natural conditioner right here this one has avocado oil and mango butter this is what they call tropical repair and it's intense moisture you see that right here I really like Aubrey um oh this smells wonderful the one thing I like about this and I'm not thinking you're gonna be able to see it on camera is that the uh, conditioner actually has a pearlescent uh, looks to it not that it really matters but I don't know I think it's pretty cool a little goes a long way I don't have anything on my hair right now I just have the shampoo the conditioner that's it I didn't put any products so this is my hair nice silky kind of manageable um, you know I'm not doing much with my hair lately we just had a big storm so you know I was kind of like not wanting to do any fuss but I like it I don't know why I stopped using them probably because of the price I mean they are expensive it's $22 just for the two of them um, but I'll put all the links down below if you want to try them. I like that. Um, I have very frizzy hair. So for me to have hair that looks like this, it kind of is a little bit of a miracle because usually I'm like poodle-like. Anyway, so that's that. Aubrey, an American company, so we like them. So next, I guess I'm on a botanical kick lately. This is Alba Botanica Very Emollient uh, Body Lotion. I got the Coconut Rescue. It doesn't have a strong coconut scent, but I have to say this is actually a very nice uh, body lotion. Yeah, I mean, it does smell like coconut and shea butter, but it's not like overpowering, like a perfumey type. Virgin coconut oil provides immediate relief for dry skin. Remember, I'm using it here to heal a little bit. For extremely dry, irritable skin, 100% paraben free phthalate whatever or synthetic fragrance and this is 100% vegetarian ingredient I don't think they have them in a smaller size I think this was $14 at Harman Cosmetics it's not a bad product I actually kind of like it the only thing is that it's huge so you know I don't know if I ever finish it because you know I tend to like to switch products but right now I'm not switching anything I need to find more products that are hypoallergenic and 100% natural because this is not going anywhere at least for now next I don't have a lot of makeup today um because I had trashed all of my mascara and kind of run a little bit of uh, out of money this month I had to get a new mascara I got this L'Oreal uh one I was looking for a classic brush so here it is I don't even know the name of it it's a classic brush it doesn't say anything so if you see a L'Oreal like this it's not great it really isn't uh, the brushes the bristle are very prickly you see how they are so when you apply your mascara some of them actually like you know stab your inner lid so I'm just using it for now um, being gentle with it and not great I'm not crazy about it definitely won't repurchase this I miss my jaw <laughs> and my uh, uh, Lancome very bad but I had to throw them away and it was a mistake anyway moving on so that's not great uh, next product is this Maybelline lasting drama this is a eyeliner in purple and it's a metallic purple Here's a swatch for you. Very, very pigmented. It's a little bit waxy as the um, eyeliner, but it stays on really, really good. I like the color. I'm probably going to check out other colors, but because it is so waxy and kind of like um, melts a little bit, it doesn't run all over the place. But what happens is that you run out of the product really, really fast. This used to be way, way uh, longer than this and what happens is that you end up sharpening it a lot in order to get a fine point so this won't last you a very long time when you compare it to a regular coal eyeliner for instance but the color is very very pretty you see the little bit of iridescent so I'm probably gonna check it out in bronze and in brown and whatever other color they have long-lasting drama waterproof gel pencil I like that one. The next product is brand new at the drugstore too. These are the CoverGirl O Sugar. And they have all botanical, you know, coming out of 
cover girl I'm not sure about that ingredient this one is number six in punch cocktail yeah punch cocktail right here see that I actually like them a lot I'm gonna do a swatch right here so it's basically a tinted bomb it's very sheer right but the great thing about it is that they smell wonderful it's a citrusy type of smell a little bit of um, vanilla a little bit of grapefruit very very nice now I have a different color on but I'm still gonna put it over it's um, they're very sheer they're not in your face type color they come in different different shade this one is probably one of the lighter colors I have another one I left it at work that's a little bit darker I kind of like them um, they're actually pretty pretty cool the one thing I don't like about it is that they come in slanted like a regular lipstick so I'm not used to that usually um, the balm they tend to be a little bit more rounded so you can just apply them without having to look in a mirror this you have to look in a mirror in order to put it on because it's got a little bit more of a pigmentation than a regular um, tinted balm so you tend to go outside of your lip line if you don't you know look at what you're doing but otherwise very nice product I'm probably gonna check out other color maybe like more of a nude but this one punch cocktail number six very nice color the last product is stuff um, you probably saw that in one of my videos wondering what on earth is this thing Sophia well this is called Zingo see the name right here all right so let me show you this thing it's a bottle of water well it's a water bottle rather that you can reuse you can put in a dishwasher and all of that so it's good for the environment but the little gimmick about it because that's really what it is it's a gimmick is that the bottom part here you can unscrew and it has a um, press for lemon mandarins oranges whatever citrus you have all right so basically what you do is that you cut your mandarin in half for instance wash it first okay wash it first watch the skin um, and you just close this right and then you squeeze your orange or your lemon right the first half toss the first half take the second half squeeze it and leave it there then you close this you got to be careful make sure you close it properly right you turn it upside down and you fill it with water and basically what it does is that it infuses your water with the uh, taste of the mandarin of the lemon whatever it is that you put in there throughout the entire day it's actually pretty cool um, it's no different than just dumping the slices of mandarin in a bottle of water but at least you don't have them coming into your mouth get the point I like it I paid nine dollars for this thing um, I think it's overpriced for what it is it's a nice little gadget I kind of like the size itself it's uh, about and it fills up all the way down by the way it doesn't stop here so it's about maybe two and a half glasses of water so 16 uh, 20 ounces of water per bottle so that's pretty cool I like it and at the office we have a water fountain so I can refill it all day and it still catches the uh, uh, mandarin at the bottom remember you got to wash the skin of your fruit before you do that because there's chemicals on the outside you know the wax they use to make it shiny and stuff anyway that's it for my swatches and stuff for January 2015 again remember don't purchase this thing this is by far the worst product of 2015 2016 if I find anything worse than this trust me I'll let you know but I don't think I will at least not until a good year or two this is like this should not even be on the market like I don't even know why this is still out there and I read reviews some people think this is the greatest thing but apparently I'm not the only one who got a massive allergic reaction and my understanding of products like this is that if enough people complain that there's a massive allergic reaction to the product they will take it out the market so I'm waiting patiently to see how this is going to turn out my god this is toxic this is acid in a bottle seriously horrible worst thing ever hate it hate it give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you tried that horrible product let me know down below how you like it whether you like it or not and if you've had an allergic reaction to any product in the past not necessarily this one but anything let me know down below what you did about it because I'm really at a loss here I'm telling you I can't put anything on my skin I can't put anything on my skin it's that bad I'm gonna go to Whole Food um, probably next week after we get a paycheck 
right? And see if I can uh, ask the lady what I should put on or maybe go to my dermatologist. They're probably gonna give me some Dr. Hoshka or something like this. That's supposedly like the best when it comes to organic and you know, non-chemical product for your skin. So I'll probably do a review on those products as well. But right now, oh, thank goodness I found this calendula thing because that's really helping my skin. Get that, that's really good, really, really good. I liked it. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you again in February for another Swatches and Stuff. Bye, thanks for watching, you guys.